Wow. Okay, it's saying that I'm live. What I'm going to do is continue onward <laughs> because I just had a technical glitch of the sort that I don't want to have happen in a couple of days. Uh, for some reason, my Be Live just cut it out. It dropped out. It came up with the message that there was a YouTube connection issue. And because I was doing a YouTube um, simulcast, the whole production of that particular live stream just dropped. So I'm starting again from this space and I've just got to put up my, oh, now I've got to find which overlay I'm needing to actually put up. The comments, I'm wanting to put up, oh, show the overlays window, yeah. Oh dear, I'm sorry about this, but normally it goes by without any issues. So, what's an animated overlay? Oh, there's some stuff in here in even this one that I have no idea. No. Um, my apologies. I'm trying to find where the comments come up. And I don't even know that I've, I can't find where I'm live, even on my time. So I just need to find that first so that I'm aware that I am. Um, I don't even know, is that video still going? I've just got to double check that one. Did it finish? Looks like it did. Okay. Oh, this is interesting. <laughs> um, I don't even know if I'm actually going live. Where am I? Where am I? Can anyone let me know? I don't know. I'm trying to get back to my... Um, I can hear little clicks, so I know that there's someone who is probably making some comments, but I can't find where my overlay is to see where your comments are. I'd all seen overlays. What's all that? No, that's those things. So I actually wanted those back. So that's those. That's that overlay. I need the top screen. <laughs> mm. Um Comments and reactions, that's the one. Oh. Well, good morning, Kirsten. I have got some there. Okay, let me have a looky see. Um, I've actually had an issue, and this is where I can add to broadcast. Yes, lovely. I thought my phone was playing up. Uh, yeah, I'm well, but I don't know that either YouTube, Be Live, or whatever, it's something to do with the technology somewhere. So it just didn't. Uh, oh, that fades out so I can go add to broadcast. Good morning, Kathy. I'll get into it now. <laughs> good morning, Kirsten. I was lost. Uh, good morning, Tracy. And there's the other morning. Now, hopefully I've got that overlay all right. I'm just using straight Ecamm now. The B Live, I've closed that window completely. It kicked, it, it just stopped the broadcast, uh, whether it was just the YouTube side or whether it was the uh, Facebook side. I don't know. I just closed that and took up with the eCam, which is what I'm going to do now. Continue on with the eCam. So we're here on a beautiful morning outside and it is the 11th, isn't it, of September. So we're on a Friday, day before the weekend. Yay! And only two days to our uh, Lost, Oil, Lost Oil Psychic Wellness Expo on Sunday. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, so what we're going to do now, though, is we are going to go into the stream of doing the card spread. Now, just a reminder, it is the general spread. Take from it what really means most to you as you're looking at the cards, okay? And just before we, you know, we go, you will see I've got these things on my wrists, okay? You might wonder what they are. And what it is, is I'm wearing my Healy device as we are doing this live stream. 
and it's a frequency a bioresonance style of frequency generator thingy that actually helps with um, balancing and general wellness well-being and it's a little wearable device that I'm just putting there and it's actually running a frequency program if you want to know anything more about that just let me know um, but that's just in case you see the wristbands and the cords uh, it's a new new thing new device into Australia very recently and uh, I'm certainly taking advantage of it um, because of the history I have as far as doing the therapies the energy work and the sound therapy you know all that stuff that's to do with frequencies I love it and that's also what cards will do like anything that we're doing here like for instance and I've got a which is the right way to point? I oh, see, I'm too. <laughs> like that. Like the cards, <laughs> they bring in a frequency to our lives as well. Everything that we have as our existence is our own understanding and our own belief around, uh, you know, that the frequencies, all matter vibrates and that creates a frequency. And at that really where we can't hear at level, it actually is a sound as well which is why I got into sound therapy and how that helps me and others because ultimately we're here to help ourselves first because we want to be the best person that we can be ready for what is ahead for others that we can share. Right, so what we've got, and I'm just going to, oh, I can't do that. I've got that these are actually tingling at a vibration. If you see me go, oh, you know, one little thing, yes, it's working. <laughs> yeah. Let's get into it. What we've got, it is the Gilded Reverie Liniment deck that we're using, that I'm using, and it's the expanded edition. So I really love this edition, and I just realised I have that, um, uh, the camera, the, oh, I know what I can do though. Instead of wobbling with the table, I can actually now just move these over to this side, and I can actually do that bigger if I want to. Whoops except I didn't quite catch on to that. See? And there we go. And that's where you'll actually find some fine sessions to book in for what I'm doing as well with the Healy session because it can be done with a remote um, option as well. So that's the deck that we're on. What we've got is the five cards. This is the workspace, the home space. What we've got is the unexpected up the top. We have the... Um, your role, this one's your role, and the outcome right in the centre. So, and what I'm going to do here too is just go like this. And we can move this out of the way. And I think that might be the better option so that at least I'm looking like I'm looking at the cards, isn't it? Yes, good. I like that. So we've got the, the older woman here. Hi, Alcara, how are you? And you'll show up there. Hopefully that actually disappears by itself because Ecam's a bit fancy pants like that. And what we've got here too, it's like this. I can actually play some noises. Just like that. <laughs> anyway, I'm not here to play with the program. We're here to do a reading. And with the older woman in this space of the work, in, uh, of the work space, work energy, what we've got is that uh, because it's, my reading sort of initially that's actually going to um, be uh... <laughs> Ooh, I do like that anyway that's actually going to be bringing that uh, maturity and the wisdom and that 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 I am as far as my history and my story into what I'm working with at that level of work today so it is a Friday, I am in work mode, <laughs> or very shortly, and it will be reflecting that um, level of who I am in my workspace. It is actually giving that time for reflecting. We are at the end of the week, so there's probably going to be some of that time that's reflecting reflections of what have we done through this week, what do I still need to do today? Um, or, you know, wow, it's, it's just that, I've done a lot and giving yourself that lead up that time for a bit of a rest, a break and reflection time. We've got the snake in the home space. Now with that, um, I mean I'm looking out at my trees even now and it makes it look like I'm looking at the cards, doesn't it? And I sort of do wonder sometimes, I don't think we've had too many of the tree snake type 
snakes here down south, like on the Fleurieu Peninsula, um, but I am aware that they, they certainly are around and about having snakes in trees. And it's almost like that um, surprise factor that we get to at times where we have mice jumping out and we squeal because it's the surprise. And I'm feeling that as we're having all those blossoms and, and the beautiful colours in the trees and everything happening, in readiness to, to have that coming season of fruit and everything, that we might have that surprise in our home space of that snake turning up uh, like the mice. So it's just being aware that I suppose for most of us a snake would be down on the ground and to be wary, uh, be aware of where we're treading, where our feet are landing, what path we're on and uh, allow the snake to have its space and we still have ours because each and every creature has its purpose. Uh, snakes get rid of mice. They also, you know, whatever other things that they do in the environment. I don't think they're really, you know, as far as they're defending themselves or it's defending itself here in this space. So it could even be that bit of a, a um, well, a bit of a warning to have that awareness around, you know, protecting self, protecting home and that type of feeling in there too. So... It could be that as the message. Um, then we've got sun in the unexpected. Well, right now, the clouds have gone over a little bit and the sun is hidden for a little bit. But it certainly is, um, and there's going to be those beautiful times in the day where the sun will shine. And it will actually bring that gorgeous smile of the touch of warmth and all that the sun is with the energy of that yang energy of being able to bring that full light onto something throughout our day. So it, it could be that you actually need the light to actually, you know, to, to shine on something so you can see it better. Or it could be that you're just needing to have something brought from that shadow self out to the full open and recognise, acknowledge and move on from that. Um, very many different ways that we actually have the sun being an influence in our day. And, um, you know, since we've just moved out of that winter and now into spring, it's so nice to have the sun just plainly for the warmth. Okay. Then we have in our role, we've got the key. And the key really is something that we need to have in our hand so that we are turning it. So we can unlock or we can lock. And in this instance, we've got it where the door is unlocked. So it's already there as having been um, put to purpose. This key is uh, the unlock at this point because that cage is open. It's setting free. We have the uh, control and influence over what that does for us. So um, I'm liking that being in your role. You know, you've got the choice. But, it, it, you know, in this respect, it's already open, so you need to move with it. Are you going to actually set free, pull out what is that beautiful rose? Yes, it is. It's a rose. So are you going to pull it out and, and bring it out fully into the open to continue that um, sharing and serving its purpose of being beautiful, of, of sharing that, that gorgeousness? Because roses are beautiful. I mean, I know some people don't like them, but... Um, they are a beautiful bloom and we're giving its full potential when it's actually out and in its right and right space, right environment. Um, doesn't deserve to be caged, locked away. It's not its natural environment. Bring it out, put it where it needs to be fully enjoyed and shared. And the masks, <laughs> as I had that one come uh, place, place itself there I sort of thought oh wow it just feels like party mode for some reason this morning it felt like party mode it didn't feel like confusion or anything with the different masks that we can place there because this is the outcome card this is the outcome position and it really does feel like it's that oh wow it 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 is for me it just feels like party mode and lighting up your day lighting up uh, you know, by the end of the day, wow, I can relax and party now. So it almost feels like the work week is finished and we're going to party and have some of that, you know, the masquerade, but in fun, not something that's going to be delving deep into, you know, like deep meaningfuls or something like that. Look, it might be that that is what it's going to be for you, 
but the energy for me, as I placed it, it was an instant, oh wow, party time. So I'm, I'm really feeling that, oh, like coming up for a wonderful weekend um, in, in all its glory, in <laughs> whatever that's going to mean for you. So as far as the, the summary, you know, what our cards are going to be for us for today, I mean, there doesn't seem to be any sort of a sequence or a, or a thread or anything that's flowing in that respect. It's just having those wonderful snippets of time that we can really enjoy. You know, we're, we're reflecting in our workspace. We've got this coming up to the end here We and the the older woman, like the woman that the enjoyment of, you know, having some fun with the masks and yes, being wary of that. But what I'm what I'm feeling with the snake, it is that, um, you know, it, it's the the keeping keeping a lookout. It's it's being protective. It's you know ha having that that energy and space around, um, you know, yeah, this is ours. It's okay to to actually protect what is yours and that sort of thing. And if that's by choice of locking it away or setting it free. I know I like to set things free. Um, it's something that came up, and especially with the sun, beautiful energy of the sun. I like to set things free. Um, it came up with my partner on I the other day. You know, he was you're just wondering about having an Avery, and I thought, well, I used to have budgies when I was um, quite a lot younger, <laughs> and it was many budgies. Uh, I did breed them. Uh, because it's something that my mum really loved doing was having the birds and at some point she realised that it was just so much nicer to have them free, setting them free and it's where I suppose I know that the, the snakes do their, you know, their, their due process is feeding from mice and the rest and what birds did was attract mice to the bottom of the cage eating the leftover seed and it's all of that process of what is round about of what's natural and that's where I thought no I don't really want to have an aviary I, I fully appreciate and love looking out the window and having the birds singing freely and I think that's probably where, for me, my energy in, in using this key for today is going to be setting some things free. And I hope that whatever message it is in the cards for you today, that you're able to actually put it into place and fully appreciate um, the you within that, that it's, um, you know, be, being the you, the best you that you can be, because it's what I'm always going to, to encourage in whatever tools you use uh, and places and things that you do, the experiences and the moments that you have. And hi, Shaz. Oh, did that come up? No? Oh. oh, I've actually got to click right on the right spot with this one. Okay. Um, so it's now I've lost my train of thought. But anyway, <laughs> that doesn't matter. Go out into your day-to-day -day and fully enjoy it, fully be who you are in that being. And it's going to be lovely to see you again tomorrow at 8 o'clock. Hopefully, you know, whichever way it's going to be with Be Live or whatever. Ecamm. It's just giving me good practice. Um, using Ecamm, isn't it? And uh, just a quick reminder. Oh, good morning, Gabrielle. Oh, Gabriella. Good morning. Um, and uh, looking forward to Sunday for the Lost Isle wellness now I've just got to try and think what the acronym is it's lost our psychic wellness expo that we're having on sunday and um yeah i'll see you tomorrow at eight o'clock again so that'll be sad day <laughs> now i've got to find where the finish button is on this one um yep there it is so thank you very much for sharing your time with me and i fully i really love appreciate you being here to be part of mytimetv.live as well thank you